Okay, we took our four posts and clamped them together square to the end. And then we're marking the posts where we want the side rails that actually we're going to put the, uh, the mattress plywood on. Yeah, this one at 3 inches, this one at 13 inches. This will represent the bottom of the side rail, so we're going to mark these. That so that's going to be the bottom exactly. of the bed. That's the bottom of the bed there, sitting on and the And then floor. this will be like where the first mattress comes out, and there's the second, and that'll be where the second mattress comes out, and then that's going to be the top post. In of order the bed. to help you understand, that means the side posts are going like that. Do you understand? That's going to stand up. Okay. Okay. And then the other two posts are going to be up there. Yeah, and then that will so. turn the whole works over like a It'll all make sense eventually, if it doesn't make sense right now. Because okay. I kind of don't get it. But anyways, yeah. So you don't you don't have to do it um, exactly at, you know, 3 and 13. You can modify it if you want or do whatever you want, but that's just what we're doing. So you can see how ours turns out and see if you like that. And if not, you can modify that. And remember, these boards are 20 inches overall. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, I've got this lined up with the lines I just made. I'm going to make another mark on the other side, the exact thickness of the board or width of the board. That way, when I go to drill my setter, uh, uh, drill hole for the screws, I'll know where you know, the middle of it is. I'm not a very got it. I'm not a very well-spoken person. That's the truth. Now, because we're this screw is 175 thousandths in diameter, so we are going we're gonna to pre-drill the pre holes so we don't gonna, split the wood like we did last time. Right, and we are going to use a Making number 17 table. drill bit that is 173 thousandths in diameter. We'll pre-drill all of these, that way they cannot split, and then we'll yeah. pre-drill these on the ends with a smaller diameter bit that's just the same diameter as the shank, that way the threads are holding it, but we're not spreading the wood out any. I'm sure these girls have no idea what you're talking about, but hopefully their dads do. Their dads do. do. <laughs> okay, that's enough. All right. Okay, so we he pre-drilled all of the holes for all four of the pieces. Um, now he's going to do these ones on the other side. And he's making it go. Okay, he, so he's making it go all the way through to the other side, so there's a hole all the way through it. Okay, we're laying this out, now that the holes are drilled, and we're going to mark them. See, I've marked one, one, two, two, now we're going to do three and four over here. And the reason that we're doing that, hold that still please, dear, is so that we can come right back to the same place, but we can pre-drill a pilot in here and we know it's going to line up when we're finished. Okay? Yes, we all understand. All right. And we'll do the same thing on the other one. But first, we've got to pre-drill these holes. We're going to start with number two because that's the one I picked up. Okay? All right. All right. We got a little start right there. Wait a minute. That doesn't look right to me. Uh, when we figure it out, we will let you know. Are you ready? Yeah, go. We're going to line this up to the two lines that we made earlier. Stand it up. Like that. Oop. Can we hold it? Hold it still. And then we're going to go into the hole that we pre-drilled and drill a smaller hole. And that smaller hole will accept the threads of the screw. I'm and going to take, take it a little take it a little bit deeper because we do not want to split the wood. That'll do. Yeah, all of this is so we that. don't split the wood. We're going to do that on all four of these, and then we'll and then set those. out the other side and do all four of those as well. All right, sweet. Okay, we're going to put a little glue on these joints. Not a lot, but from a strength standpoint, it works pretty good. Now, we'll put the joint together like that. I'm going to try and hold it freehand and drive the screw all at the same time. Do you want me to hold it? Nah. Ah! 
you see the glue come out of it that means we got a good joint that'll do just fine sweet all right and that's number four okay all right so he's gonna do that for all four I'm gonna of do, them i'm gonna finish them all up yep and then we'll do and the then, other side yeah and the when exact we get to the thing. when we get to the uh the railings that we're gonna put on each end we'll we'll pick it back up back. but for now take a break go get coffee i don't know we're gonna finish all this up and then we'll uh let you know okay okay the way we're putting these together this is one side this is the other side is we're going to put them together with these plate rails that we bought that we cut down and they're going to fit right there and right there and you can see we've marked for them and based on my bedding uh, which is going to be approximately an inch thick he's putting the another three rails of the plywood He's, well, anyways, he's putting the rails um, one, and a half inches. one and a half inches higher than the bottom of this. Now we're going to put these together with these little drywall screws because we don't want to split the wood. So I'm going to drill pilot holes here where we've marked. Then we'll attach the uh, uh, plate rails and then we'll do the other side. Okay, we'll show you when we're doing that. Okay, so I just uh, went and I drove over to my mom's because my other dolls that I got that are for my birthday, that's my surprise doll, and then Felicity that I'm getting for Christmas from my mother, uh, they arrived yesterday at my mom's house, but Gwen and Sonali did not, so I was all upset. So I went over there today to check because no one's home at my mom's. So, here they are. I can't open their boxes yet, but he let me um, open them, uh, and they are going to join us for the rest of the op of the making of the beds. But they're here! I am so excited! They're so much prettier in person. I'm so excited! So, we're going to finish the uh, beds. But I just had to take a short break and show you guys that. While you're taping, show them how I've been starting putting the end rails on. We'll do one uh, for them. But they can see how we've gotten started with the uh, footboard and headboards. Um, I'll let him explain it whenever we get back to it because I don't know what to do. I'm just showing you. But anyways, yay! Bagel, get out of that. Anyways. Okay, all you kids, remember the holes that we drilled for pilot holes to attach our headboards and footboards with. Okay. Now, as you can see on these two, I've already center drilled them and screwed them together. So they're held together. Now I'm going to take a drill. This is the same diameter as the shank of the screws we're using. That way only the threads cut in and we don't take a chance of actually splitting the wood. Now I've got to line it up. Did you already do that though? Oh. Ow. Hmm, I'm going to line it up to the... Because we marked it with pencil under there. Yes, we did. Okay. And then we will drill the holes. One. Two. And while I'm holding it together... Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and get the screw started. Bagel's about had enough of the noise. To make sure we can keep it captured. There it goes in. Okay. Sweet. So now you're going to do that for all of it. Started, the other one will be fine because it'll find its own hole because we have one of them already done. That's why I do them this way. Otherwise, all right. You know, like if you're a real good carpenter or cabinet maker, you pre-drill them all, then put them all together at the same time. But I'm just an engine okay, builder. Okay, Dad, they don't... So I'm doing it this way. They don't care. Okay, so you're going to do that for all four of them. Mm-hmm. On and both sides. we'll show you what it looks like when we're done.